Foxy lady, foxy lady. Mm, mm, mm. Hi, Christine. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being on my show. I'm excited to be on Saycon Talks. What are we going to talk about? Girl, we're going to talk about a little some of this and some of that. Yay. And we're going to have tea? Yes, we're going to have a little tea. You like tea? I love tea. That's my thing. Every morning. Honey, I know. I love Every it. Every morning. Yes. That's how I know we we friends. Because you love tea and I love tea. There's a little behind the scenes. Y'all yeah, see me setting it up. Get it together. You're watching Saycon Talks. With Saycon Simba. You're watching Saycon Talks. With Saycon Simba. I love both of them, but I think I'm... And the Earl Grey is a lavender Earl Grey. Yeah, I love them both. I think I'm going to do the peach. The peach oolong? You know what? I think I'm going to do the peach too. I love Earl Grey. But, um, I like your tea thingy. I like how your sis... This little thing? Yeah. Because I, I have some balls like that. The mesh balls, but I don't have that one. I love all the different ones. Um, the mesh ball, the strainer version... I like all of them. So this is a peach oolong. I'm gonna do peach oolong as well. So I'm gonna do peach oolong too, but I'm gonna do mine in this little green tea bag strainer. It smells so good. Oh my god, smell it. Yeah, smell. Mmm, that smells good. That does smell good. That mighty leaf has a. Just put a little water on here, and then we'll sit down and have a little chat. I'm so excited to have tea with my good, good girlfriend, Christine. Uh, did you want any milk or anything? Right, you don't like milk. You ain't playing no milk, nothing. Not even veggie milk, right? No. I'm going to put some in mine. That's a little coconut milk, y'all. Nice, and then we're going to sit down and chat. Saycon Talks, and I am here with my special guest, my Yay. my good friend. You, you're my fuzzy and bestie. Warm. Am I fuzzy? You're, I mean, like in a good, cozy, yes. wintry, happy Girl, holiday. I'm life. walking in a winter wonderland. <laughs> the so. so we made our tea, yes. and we're just gonna have a little chat. I put a little. What I'm sipping today is um, the peach oolong. Yep, yeah, we did the peach oolong, and I put a little coconut milk. Christine, you took nothing, right? Plain. Plain, right? And I wanted, I would probably would have done some honey, but I'm traveling, so it's a honey-free day today. We don't always need sweeteners, you know? Life is sweet enough. Right? We sweet. We sweet, right? So, mm. oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. I'm always smelling. That's like my favorite part. It's just smelling the tea. But yeah, so welcome to Saycon Talks. How are you doing? It's the holiday season. It is. It feels good to be in Atlanta and yeah. see family and friends. Mm -hmm. I'm good. It's like I'm here, but I'm not on vacation. Yeah. Traveling, not on vacation, because I'm really, this is a busy season for me. But yeah, it feels, I'm just, I'm good. Yeah, good. I always tell people, like, the we're both, Christine and I, we're both actresses. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned her a couple of times during the podcast. So yes, this is the famous Christine Horn. Um, we're both actresses, we both sing, we both run our own businesses, yeah. so that's one of the things that happens is the holiday season is really busy because it's the time that entertainers entertain, it's the time that people are trying to start new things in their life and trying to launch new businesses, Have you know, new ideas are flourishing. Right. Um, it was just December 21st, which is a winter solstice, which is also my brother's birthday, so shout out oh, to my yeah. big brother, Alan, it's his birthday. 
Um, so that's always a, a definitely a time of renewal for mm -hmm. sure. For yeah. sure. So for me, and plus for me, like December is my birthday month, so I'm always coming into a new year. Plus <laughs> prepping, too, yeah. prepping for you know. So what did you did you do anything special for your birthday this year? Yes, special this? to me. I went to the spa, which I know you appreciate. <laughs> You know, I love you like, you like I love the spot because I, I'm all about self care. Like I don't, I, I was gonna say I'm all about black people and self care, but I'm all about everybody having self care. But I feel like a lot of us, we work really hard. We're always moving around, and especially as actors, we're always just going, 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 going. It's easy to put ourselves on the back burner. Oh God! And yeah. to take for granted how much we need it. So I'm trying to get a massage, like. As soon as um I get probably when I get back to New York right now we are in Atlanta but yeah. do you get massages? Well, I had one that day. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. yeah. That was the whole point. So I was like, let me get there like one thirty so I can do the saunas and the steam rooms. Mm. I like to be a little relaxed and tired already. Ooh, steam and sauna. And when I tell you that oh nap, that nap after that massage was amazing. Mm. And it's always this thing like, oh, I need to do this more. Yes. So I always I make note of that. Like so, for those of you listening and watching. Self care, however you can it's find very it, it important. is it is a renewal each time. Okay, it's about to be 2020. Right? Yes. So, New day. what would you say if you could just recap what 2019 was for you? 2019 for me was crouching season, meaning so like crouch, like crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Like you know, before <laughs> before you can jump, before mm -hmm. you can leap, you can't just stand and just leap. You gotta get down. You gotta crouch. You gotta mm. bend your knees. You gotta go low okay. to get to get high to get to the ne a higher level. And so for me, that's what that's been with career. It's been some quiet time. To I was able to finish my book, and then I went through my audio book, and I've launched new things with my business. And I've been in in the lab with my own coach, trying to get prepped for this new season. So it's it has moments of being uncomfortable. You know, uh, it's like learning curves, which I know mm -hmm. you know about if mm -hmm. you're doing all your business stuff. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's what 2019 was. It was like brand awareness for my, like my audience as a coach, but also just so much internal work as an entrepreneur and as a woman, as a, as a wife. And so yeah, crouching season, because I feel like 2020, it, it's just we're in leaping season. Come on. Come on, leaping you gotta season. Get, so we get the knees ready. Get the yeah. knees ready. So I, a lot of people um, in our lives, we're all performers, actors, singers, writers, dancers, um, producers, and whatnot. Most of us, um, a lot of us look up to you. We see a lot of the posts and things that you do Aww. online. I'm very proud of you. You know, you just told us about 2019 and what 2020 is looking like. Can you give a little bit to my audience about where you started and how you got to be who you are and what you do? As an actor? Or just at everything. Like, who are you? Who is Christine Horn? Well, um, I've always been a performer, always been a creative person. Um, I was a kid, like five years old, I was in tap class, you know, tap and ballet and jazz. I've seen them tap pictures. I was a kid, like, I sure Insert tap picture here. <laughs> So I've always had a love for being, I've always been multi-passionate, always mm -hmm. just wanted to create. And so that's what I, my mother just gave me that freedom to do that. So I've always just done that. I went to a performing arts uh, school in New York. And then when we moved to Georgia, we went to Tri-Cities where, where we met. Yes. Uh, performing arts high school here. Then went back to New York for musical theater. Shout to, out to Tri-Cities High yes, School. Yes, tri yeah. Went to AMDA in New York for a year for musical theater. And so I've just always performed. And I did The Lion King for five years. Um, did uh, wait? You just gonna breeze through that? You did Lion King for five years. Yeah, I did uh, okay. both national tours: Broadway, Vegas, and I even workshopped it in Germany. Okay. And then I was like, okay, cool on the cool on that. I'm tired of jumping. Look, honey, that Broadway, that <laughs> Broadway, Broadway tour, the main shows a week. It was a wonderful Ooh. experience. I would never take back, mm -hmm. but life changing. But I, I knew I said I wanted to be on TV. I wanted to do movies and, and television shows, and so I set a goal for that and just kind of. Gave LA a shot for the first time in 2011. And so I was just about to say, when did you first move to LA? It was in 2011. The, the Mandalay Bay, the Las Vegas company of Lion King closed, and that night, New Year's Eve, I drove to LA. Wow. I'd already found a place okay. on Craigslist, sight unseen, other than like Google Maps. Okay. Talked to the lady, rented a room. And you just, and found I was like, hey, just boom. 
And it and was how was that first time in LA for you? The first time I'm very open about this, like to my community. It wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I didn't know. I just assumed my theater credits. I did a couple of films here and there, Stomp the Yard. Were you, let me get nosy. Were you single at that time? Were you married at no, that time? No, I was I was not single. I was in a long distance relationship. Okay. With a guy I had already been dating for like three years. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, it was it was hard. I always say the transition from whenever you're in a certain mode as an actor. Uh, as any type in any type of business you're in one type of mode when you're transitioning to another mode it's just like you need that time to adjust so yeah. you're coming off of the the theater touring vibe right going into la and long distance relationships it's a lot yeah and so that means there was also moving a lot. new people new air new whatever yeah. so it puts a lot writing on that mm -hmm. if you're going to be away from your loved ones your your your, your man your fa your family and friends and you've got to you're going hard for this dream so it was really frustrating, but it wasn't, you know, I did some theater, but it wasn't, I didn't know what I didn't know. So how long did you stay? I stayed for like, oh, for like a year and a half, maybe okay. close to two years. And then I ended up having some personal uh, crisis and said, I moved back to Atlanta. I was like, you know what, let me just go back to Atlanta, get, get uh, coaching, get my mind right. Come on, get, get your mind right. right. Cause it was all connected. And that's what I did. But I went back to Atlanta with a plan to like, let me tell y'all, I believe in that you can always start over. A lot of oh, times absolutely. people, I think people will let pride and fear stop you and make you not um, make changes in your life because you don't want all the people to say, oh, I told you so, this and that and the other. But let me tell you something, the people who might say, I told you so, they're not paying your bills. Right. They have nothing to do with your dreams and your process and your goals. So you're a great example of somebody who decided, you said, hey, hold up, let me just stop and regroup. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of actors that don't want to work extra jobs. They feel like, they're ashamed to do things outside of acting. Like, let me tell you. I'm what, laughing. I've always kept two or three. Honey. Or more jobs. She keeps a job, okay? Like, I, I've always seen you do that. I know myself, you know, people see me. They see me doing Broadway. They see me doing TV. But, honey, I'll be quick to be singing in a wedding band talking about do wop do wop right. pop, pop. Because you got to do what you got to do. Visit SaconTalks.com for blogs, social, and merch. You know, so I'm really proud that you saw that you needed a change, you needed to regroup, and you went back. Yeah, and... So how long before you actually ended up coming back? Yeah, I ended up coming back in top in 2017. Got back to L.A. Super Bowl Sunday in 2017. I was there. I remember. I was at... Um, shout out to Leland and uh, Jason. I was at their house. We were. It was a Super Bowl party that day. Because by this time, I'm married. This it was years, years later. It was like years, years later. later. Yeah, because yeah, I when I went back to Atlanta, I was working my full-time 9 to 5, and I had a part-time job at the side, and mm. started health coaching. That's how I got into the coaching world. Which I love. So I went to school to learn about being a health coach. And, and though I didn't continue being a health coach, I saw that I enjoyed coaching. Mm -hmm. And I saw that I enjoyed the goal setting part and mm -hmm. the mindset. What's blocking you from this achieving your dreams? Yes. So, yeah, I knew I liked that coaching piece. So when I got back to L.A., I wasn't working a job, you know, for anybody else anymore. And, and honestly, just I already had a manager here mm -hmm. from when I booked a series record. Here? Oh, here in Atlanta. I mean, in LA. We don't know where we at. <laughs> Been around the world and I, I, I. We're like, we in New York, we in LA, we, we don't know where we are. Jet set oh, life. Honey, jet set, boo. <laughs> jet set. So here, you had an agent Well, I've, I've had an agent in Atlanta for 25 years. I had okay. the same agent. I never okay. talked to him. Okay. But when I got back to LA, that was key. I had a manager already, and then they helped me get So I spent week one just unpacking, and then we had to move again. It was drama. But then week two was taking agent meetings, and by week three, I had booked my a guest a guest star. Y'all see that? And then the second gig, I because booked, you know what you had was a plan. A plan. You had a plan, and you you a, also against whatever fears you had, you went for it. That's the thing I'm always talking about is about taking hold of your life and making changes. If you need to make a change, make a plan, make a look. I, we are co-creators in this thing. Yes, so absolutely. So I went to LA. I wasn't playing no games. I went, on, I went on a mission. The second gig I booked was Ryan Murphy's American Crime Story. That was the second gig I booked when I was back. And I believe the that first gig that you booked was your first audition back. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. I remember. Yeah. And then I got pinned for like... I was excited for you. I was just like, oh, okay. Like, you, you better have just arrived. Yeah, so my team... And I was there. It was pilot season. It was quite a time. My team was like, okay, okay. They were, they were like, okay, we see who we're we see who we working with. Yeah. That's the thing. You have to, as an actor, you can't just be the only one 
um, sitting and waiting for them to do stuff. You have to always bring something to the table as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it just from there it just started. I was just working, and then I was like, let me just like do a blog and just like I don't know, just track my. This is before you had really started cranking up your. I was a daily actors daily bread. But this is how it was created. Okay. I started I was like, let me just on Facebook. Hey guys, you know I'm just here going to this audition and. Then I would find myself just doing the same little videos, but maybe giving a tip here and there. And I was you like, could feel the habit, feel the vibe. Yeah, and I was like, well, maybe I should like do these. And then I was like, what should I call it? I talked to my husband. I was like, I want to like feel like I'm feeding the people, like you mm -hmm. know, giving them their bread. And my husband was like, what about actors' daily bread? And it's a perfect name. And so that, and then it started, which, and then people started commenting and asking questions and being like, wow, who's this lady who's sharing and being like not stingy with information? Which I love. I, I'm constantly whenever people ask me because I'm not really. I like to talk about different things, not always acting, but people always like to talk to me about acting and I always direct them to her acting videos because she has like hundreds of them. Right. I believe like 200 something videos at this point. As of right now, You yeah. just named like 203, 200, 204, I think. Yeah, 204, because I'm, cause I'm a fan, I watch. She actually, for real, like. I watch, like I'm a, she, I'm a night owl. And I be like, what's she watching? You don't need these videos. Two o'clock in the morning, I'll be like, dude, I'll be like, yes, I do need and she to be, be folding clothes, <laughs> like. Yes, absolutely. No, I always send people to your, your page. Oh, I appreciate that. Yes, because I love YouTube and I love that it's there for people. And for me, I don't mind just my general interactions with young actors or older actors, whoever is getting into the business or trying to figure things out. I like to talk to them when they're at a certain level. So a lot of your stuff, you have stuff that's for people who've been there for a long time, who need to brush up, yeah. who need to, who rusty, they need to like knock the dust off of it. Mm -hmm. And then you have videos for people who are just new, don't know anything about it. And that's what I really like about your material. Yeah. What is this this booking magnet? Uh, this well, shirt this is on? a term that I coined for myself. I'm a big believer in the law of attraction and believing that we are magnets and we draw things, people, energy mm -hmm. experiences to us. Book them juice. And I was like, well, yeah, we always joke about book them like, juice. She would book. I'm like, give me some of that book and juice. And it's like. For me, I was like, how can I, I'm constantly thinking, how can I speak life into myself? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to, I am that what I say I am. Mm -hmm. And I have to train people on how to speak life into me as well. So I just said, I'm a booking, it's part of my affirmation. I'm a booking magnet. I look in the mirror, I'm a booking magnet. I'm, and it just, so, I would start saying it, it caught on. So then in the last couple of years, what were some of your favorite gigs that you booked? Because you booked some some really awesome stuff. Uh, the last couple of years, my, one of my favorites, uh, my I'd say my biggest TV role was playing Harriet Tubman mm -hmm. on Timeless on NBC. If you weren't going to say it, I was going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, they had memes. I was like, that's my girl, she's Harriet Tubman. I know, that was so a, proud that of was you. a dream. On Timeless. Yeah. yeah. and I, Which it, episode is it? It was the season finale of season two. It's called The General. And the show's yeah, off the air, it. but it's on Hulu, I think. You can still watch it. Oh, my, yeah. Any sci-fi uh, They had a nice fans, following. They had oh, a yeah. nice following. I mean, the show got canceled season one, and the nice. fans got it back for season two. Girl. You may have to make a stop at um at uh, one of those con what are those um, yeah the sci fi or sci fi comic cons or one one of those things. yeah I have a friend because especially now that I'm I'm in Terminator now um so I look like, I was you know, at the Terminator like that's my girl <laughs> yo I'm sorry I'm, I'm let me calm down really. yeah, calm, yeah I I got so many favorites good. doing Blackish with Tracy Ellis Ross okay. that was that's really when you awesome. had the all white the all white outfit on yes right? I love watching your Instagram what is your tell everybody what your Instagram um, you can follow me at actress Christine Horn. So on actress Christine Horn, it's two, it's twenty twenty, so it's gonna be a whole brand new um, page. But she always posts a lot of things. She has her work with me Wednesdays, yes, where she takes people along to see her auditions or what she, how she's running her personal business, mm -hmm. how she's doing her um, coaching with her individual students, mm -hmm. um, and then what else? You post things. Just I'm just always looking for a way for people to. Get, get, get served. How can I thinking? How can I get? If you land on my Instagram page, yes, there's going to be like me, my dog some days, but also I want you to leave better than you came yes. or to leave inspired or with a nugget of some sort. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have a, our community that I've created is Hollywood bound actors. And that's that there's an Instagram page for that. We have an Instagram well. and a free Facebook group with thousands of actors from around the world. And a podcast. And the Hollywood bound actor podcast, yes. which we, this will be syndicated on. Yes. Um, Shout out to the Hollywood bound actors. Yeah. I'm um, Saquon. What's up everybody? And they've seen, I've, I've interviewed Saquon like three, two, three times like yes. or more. Cause I'll be um, in LA and Christine will be getting some meat and she'll be like, girl, let's do a video. And she pop it on. I ain't, my head don't be done. I just be like, okay. okay. You 
know, well, that's, that's, a, that's a thing of showing up just as a as real person. Are. Yeah, yeah. And it, it invites people watching you to think, to not think it has to be perfect. And they mm -hmm. have to be, we live in an age of everything so flawless and airbrushed and filters. Correct. So I think it's important to show those the other sides. Absolutely. But we built a really, you know, a powerful, wonderful, supportive community. And sometimes I was telling you right before we started taping, like, gosh, like, I built this community and people came and said, hey, I want to be a part of it. Now other people helped me run it and are truly supportive of each other. Yeah. Like you just did the contest. You showed me a picture. There's a woman who... I did a giveaway. You did a yeah. giveaway. So you were giving away a t-shirt. I gave, I gave away this Booking Magnet Booking t-shirt. Magnet yeah. You have another t-shirt that I have. What's that one? The one that I have. It says... Um, Leading Lady? Is that one? Leading Lady. Or books. It was books. I have both. Yeah, you I have both. both. I have the Leading Lady I'm always giving take on my yes. tester t-shirts. Hey, like, I wear yeah. the t-shirts. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I love so it. you gave that T-shirt away. You're doing giveaways. You're doing, but and now, so we're talking about stuff that you're giving away. But the things that you are offering for value that are coming up right now that people can pay to actually get one-on-one -on -one time with you, yeah, or to be able to take a class. What What are you offering? Yeah, What's the, happening for 2020? It's there's always something happening. So if you if you have a desire to work in film and TV, that's my sweet spot. Just come follow me at one of these places. You'll always be in the loop. You get on my mailing list what I'm really 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 excited about what I've been working on for like and you'll see we'll do a link for Christine's YouTube will be down in the bottom bar thank you um, I'm prepping for the launch of my signature program book more TV okay and it, it the promise we is can all be in more TV honey. so you can go to bookmoretv.com and okay. the, the doors are open from January 1st to January 8th after January 8th you cannot get in the cart okay. will be closed so anybody who's watching this after January 8th sorry guys. you just have to come follow me get on my mailing list and that way you can be alerted but mm -hmm. I'm excited because it's five weeks with me sharing every Thing I know every secret about how I book. I mm. booked 29 television film gigs in the past two years. Her IMDb is ridiculous, y'all. And it's like I know there's people who have more IMDb credits than me, but it's like it was the timing. Yeah, your timing is felt, it's crazy. But that's for me when I for me like I cracked the code. Like you know when we leave an audition, we're like I just like, I, I like, won the room. Yeah, yeah I yeah, just yeah. know yeah. that hit for me. And then because I was counting, like I put that's 29 credits in the past two years. That's mm. quite significant. So, I feel like I, this has nothing to do with acting, but I relate that to dating. I relate it to food, to whatever it is that you're doing. You can feel when you're in a, a sweet spot of doing the right thing yeah. for yourself. If you're eating better, you feel more energy. If you're sleep, you're getting more sleep, you feel more. It's a ripple effect. Better, yeah, you're doing the, doing just those little tweaks. Because this is the thing. Um, we get into habits with whatever it is we're doing in life, right? But as an actor, a lot of times our ego will stop us from wanting to get advice mm -hmm. right so I'm always a person who um, I'm always preaching for people to go to coaches I, I get coaching I have um, Leland Thompson who's working on the, the film that I'm working on right now he coaches me I'm always recommending people to get vocal coaching Absolutely. acting coaching even uh, getting a style makeover or you know just kind of having that awareness of you know what I wear for me might not be what I need to wear for this character or, right. you know there's all types of tweaks and different things that you can make Wearing clothing, makeup, hairstyles, things that make you better. And she talks about these types of things to help you just improve yourself, you yeah. know? Yeah. Because we all need, no matter what stage of the game, I mean, celebrities... You're never too old. Yeah. I've seen Denzel in an in a interview where he talked about still um, training and practicing yeah. and studying. You know, studying your scripts, studying whatever the material is before when you. When I did Ray Donovan with John Boyd. When John, I did when I did Ray but, Donovan with John Boyd. But let me tell you, John studied with Angelina all, Jolie's all day. He was like, "You want to rehearse again? You want to rehearse yes. again?" And he was like, "Let's maybe we can rewrite this." And that's line. an Oscar award winner. I was just like, he was uh, like "You yes. want to run lines? Let's run lines." Uh, I will, yeah, yes, I will run lines. I'll tell you something interesting. I found that some of the young people they think they got, they think they know everything. They don't want to rehearse. But these old heads, these 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 uh what's the word seasoned. these seasoned actors these ogs they know what's up they, they know got that them to be the way they exactly are. they know the more that they rehearse the better it will be so john boyd was like We're all day lines. he yes. wasn't like you know he wasn't like hey maybe say hi and then go to his trailer because that's why that can't happen sometimes yeah he says. no yeah. He, we sat next to each other all day mm -hmm. and he was like would, can you would you like like can you please run lines with me i love that and then he was like what do you think and he started talking about my character, character. he did, he did rewrites so i could have a bitter arc yes no i love that it look, was awesome it was an amazing looking out day. for you on the on the um on the show i love that that's yeah. fabulous so 
it's just been a journey and I, I'm so I'm in my belief we have to always give back I believe that's so I, nothing is mine so I believe I, I operate from an abundant mindset as do you yes. so all the information I give that's away, why we get along so well it doesn't yeah. it, there's nothing I mean like be of service like yes. me giving and to looking you for abundance and 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 uh what's the word um and always expecting it so man mm -hmm. helping to manifest it what were you about to say but just when you're putting out it's, it's just it's 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 circulation mm -hmm. everything just always comes back oh, cardi b ain't the only one we getting, getting money, we getting money. <laughs> so um what do you this is that classic question that people love to ask okay sometimes this question gets on people's nerves but sometimes people like the question so where do you see yourself in five years um, in five years, I see myself um, successful coaching business. I see myself as a series regular on a hit show on a on a network that gets high ratings with a cast and crew that treats each other like family. Mm. Um, I see myself in a new home, a new house, traveling more, and just being and feeling free, whatever that means at that time. Financial freedom mental freedom just just personal freedom yeah just an overall place. sense of wellness Be and because freedom. this industry is you know is so many ebbs and flows and so much up so much up and down mm -hmm. and i don't see myself getting out of it mm. i plan on being cicely tyson so you want to do it the best way to do it and so yeah Come on, cicely tyson you know what i mean and so in five Cheers, years i want to just be in that in that zone i don't feel like i'm out the zone but i'm in, i feel like it's, i'm still in this hustle place and i don't want to feel like i'm in that hustle yeah yeah, yeah yeah so yeah i mean i think um i always feel like the key to that sense of freedom i mean of course having more money makes life easier but i'm always um thinking and praying on having that lack of the hustle feeling yeah like i i enjoy you know there's a thrive you you know i do you too. Get, yeah when you're like oh i got a new idea you're working you're building you're grinding but you don't want to feel like you have to girl there's a difference <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, right. Right. You don't want to feel like you have to. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, I want to give you a present. I tried to sneak it around. I was like, she see me. No. I, was a little you didn't I mean, it. I saw the bag, but I just saw you it. Know, was, a, I figured that was one of your gifts from your family. No, it's a gift for you. Because you got, she got this cute little diffuser. Yeah, that's my cousin. So I was just thinking I'll give it her for her Christmas. This is just a little small gift Thank for you. you. What is this? This is, they're small. The bag is, I should have put it in a big, I mean a smaller bag. All y'all ASMR people, y'all like this? Y'all like, like, like yeah. that? Yeah. Give me more of those videos, please. <laughs> oh, this, is this your lashes? Yes, this is my new lash line. Ah, I feel so honored. <laughs> You're the first one to get to get some. And look at the casing. Oh, and my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law got some. Yeah. Yes, with the BPS, the vintage yes, pop Yes, vintage pop So that's the BPS lash. I'm so, let me say for the record, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And how you've been grinding and like not just a career, but I see you now building your empire. We've, we've already, we've both always had these business things going on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with honey wax and all your, I'm in the, it's real. Yes, girl, it's real, honey. That's the mink lash. The oh, and lashes. which one is this? So this is the vintage pop soul lash. It's it's more like the romantic, I love fluttery the lash. Yes, and then the VPS is the thick, sporty, hot, sexy lash. So yeah, I so you try them out, and if you if you wear them, take a picture. Oh, of course. Ah, yes. I, okay. So you guys, if you like this video, don't forget to click like and to subscribe and also remember to check the bottom bar you'll see information for christine for all her programs she got going and also you see information if you want to get a set of these lashes these are cute well. honey so, these are cute yay but i'm so happy you were able to come and be on say fun talks and chill with me a little bit i know we we both gotta oh, run we have so much to do but i'm just glad we were able to have this time look y'all when she drove up in the parking lot i was like <laughs> i was in the car too i was like christine <laughs> like I was like heart eye emoji because this is my girl like for real I'm so happy I love, love you. you so much love you so much and so proud of you yes. so let's just keep it moving y'all that's all we can everybody do. let's keep it moving bye <laughs> cheers take on talks 
Welcome this holiday season, my new line of Vintage Pop Soul and VPS by Saikon Lashes. Yes, y'all, I'm selling mink lashes. These are the ones that I wear during my concerts. They last. I can sing in them all night. I can sweat. I can dance. And they look so beautiful, soft, and luxurious. So don't forget to visit the Saikon store and get your pair of Vintage Pop Soul or VPS by Saikon Lashes. Mink lashes, y'all.